welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day on WW Personal Points. It's the new program. I have to say that it's only been a couple of days, but I'm really, really liking it so far. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the food that I'm eating on the new Personal Points plan. We're gonna talk about how I feel about the zero point foods as we go throughout the day today. I'm just really excited to share today's What I Eat in a Day. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single single video. If you haven't checked out my video all about personal points that was released on Monday, definitely check that out. I'll link it down below for you. In the description box, you're also going to find my four recipe eBooks. The entire four recipe eBook collection is released. So make sure you get your hands on those. I do offer a course nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to ask questions or chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, and my Facebook group is also so down in that description box. I'm really excited for today's What I Eat in a Day, so let's jump in. So here is my breakfast for today. I just refilled my water, so I'm on my second cup of water. I have some raspberries for zero points, eggs for zero points, that is one of the foods that I chose to be on my zero point food list, and then the hash browns from Trader Joe's are four points. So my breakfast is a total of four points. I have been getting some questions on putting the hash browns in the toaster. So you do have to put it in the toaster through several cycles to get it hot and crispy, but it's just easier than throwing them in the oven. It's great for kids after school. A lot of you said your kids love the little hash brown, so this whole toaster situation is a bit of a game changer. So I just put it in there several times until it's hot and crispy, but that is my four point breakfast. Perfect hot perfect crispy. So as you saw, I actually just finished my breakfast. I got ready for the day. I actually have a Zoom call this afternoon with my Facebook group. I also have a coaching call. So I got fully ready today, hair, makeup, all the nine yards, but now I need a little bit of perfume to make me feel completely put together. I shared dossier with you guys in a video a few weeks ago, and I have been loving my perfumes. They are really, really good alternatives for high-end perfumes. They're much more affordable. Perfumes on the market that are two or $300, you can get from Dossier for $29 to $39. I shared with you in my last video that I had purchased the Dossier alternative to my favorite perfume, with the, which is the La Vie Belle from Lancome. And I've been loving it. Like I said, I haven't noticed much difference between the high-end one and the Dossier one. The lasting power is fantastic. So I say save your money and pick your perfumes up from Dossier. So I decided to go ahead and get two more scents. And again, this is the Dossier version of my favorite high-end perfumes. A high-end perfume I love is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. Now I actually got this one in my Glossy Box Advent Calendar and I've been savoring it because it's such Mm, such a delicious smell and it is such a high-end expensive perfume. So I decided to go ahead and get the Dossier version. And again, we're going to compare them to see how similar they are. I'm going to wear it all day. I'll be able to share with you here on the screen the lasting power of this one. But this is Dossier's Gourmand White Flowers, which is inspired by the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb perfume. So the notes in this one are bergamot, green tea, freesia, berries. There's some middle notes of white flowers, or and rose and then the base notes are musk patchouli caramel and vanilla it smells so good it's that perfect floral musky sweet i love it so again this is the victor and rolf and here's the dossier gourmand white flowers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray the dossier on my left wrist and i'm going to apply the victor and rolf flower bomb on my right wrist and we're going to test them 
So the dossier, oh, it's so good. Wow. <laughs> I'm shook, you guys. The Victor and Rolf and the dossier. It smells exactly the same. No difference. Wow, that completely blows my mind. I mean, this little tiny one is more expensive than the dossier. Wow, I'm literally shocked. I can't believe that I can get this for a fraction of the price of this. So I'm going to wear the Victor and Rolf dossier version all day today. And like I said, I did go ahead and put here on the screen my overall thoughts, but I am so surprised at the similarities. And the second perfume that I decided to try is another one of my favorite high-end scents. And this is the Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. Now I got a sample of that perfume in a subscription box and I fell in love. If you don't follow me on my beauty channel, I unboxed it there and told you just how much I loved this perfume. And this is the dossier version. It is called the Musky Musk. Now the Juliet has a gun, not a perfume is so expensive. It's one of the most expensive perfumes. So the Musky Musk, the dossier version has the same notes as the Juliet has a gun, not a perfume, which the top note, there is no top note on this fragrance. The middle notes are Cetalox, Iso E Super, and the base notes are Haba, No Light, and Musk. So I'm going to smell this. It smells as, wow. It smells as good as the Juliet has a gun. I am floored every time I get a new dossier fragrance that it's so affordable and it is such a perfect match to the high-end ones. I'm really excited to have one of my other favorite high-end scents in the dossier. I will go ahead and link dossier down in the description box for you with a discount code. I plan on picking up lots and lots more perfume, so of course I'll share those with you guys, but highly recommend if you love fragrance but you hate spending tons and tons of money, these are great, great alternatives and in my my opinion they smell exactly the same hi guys hi bud what are you doing oh hi palmer hi where were you Will you bark in at the people at the gate? Hey, will you bark in at people? Hi, Lulu. Hi, babe. What are you guys doing? Huh? It's a nice day. It's chilly, but it's sunny. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, handsome. Are you guys going to hang out out here for a bit? Morning snack time. Today I'm actually going to have an RX bar. This is the pecan. There's three egg whites, four cashews, five pecans, two dates. No BS. These are really, really, really delicious. I'm about to go sit down and edit my new plan video that's going out tomorrow. It's currently Sunday that I'm filming today's video. So I know that these are a little bit higher in points, but these are nice and clean. The only thing that's in these bars that I don't love is natural flavors. But I'm really focused on ingredients. I kind of mentioned this when I shared a little bit about some of the health issues that I have going on. So I'm really, really focused on better ingredients for a lot of my food. So I'm going to have this and I'm going to have a bottle of Brew Doctor Kombucha. This is the Island in Mango. This is three points. Technically, I count it as one point. I count this as the normal points. That is counted for, of course, on the new personal points plan. So I will go ahead and put here on the screen the points and calories, but I'm gonna dig into my morning snack and go and edit some videos.
So here's my lunch for today. I am loving the creamy dill pickle salad kit. I did haul that from Costco. I've never seen it at my local grocery store, but you can buy two bags at Costco for like $6. It is such a delicious salad, such an easy lunch. And then I just topped it with some of my Earth Best chicken nuggets. I buy those at Walmart. Great ingredients for a chicken nugget. I have protein, I have veggies. I'm really excited for this. And then I do have glass, I think number four of my water. So to, this is my lunch for today. I was sitting down to take my supplement. I take my Thrive Custom To Me Probiotic every single day. And it reminded me to share with you some information about the Thrive Gut Health Test. So what used to be Thrive, this is what their logo looked like. If you're new to my channel, this is a personalized probiotic for me. So Thrive offers a gut health test. Essentially you submit a sample, it goes through some testing, and then it comes back and lets you know what probiotics you're deficient in and how those affect your body. So for me, when I took my gut health test, it let me know that some of the probiotics that I was deficient in were things that led to weight loss makes perfect sense, chronic fatigue, which I have, sleep, all of those issues that I have came back in my test, and then Thrive puts together a personal probiotic for you. Now my husband, who's quite the skeptic, took the test and takes his probiotic as well every single day and says that he noticed a huge, huge difference. So we've been taking these for quite a while. Well, I've been taking mine for well over six months, and every six months or so you should retake the test to make sure that everything's the same. Has this been helping? If this has been helping and those levels are back to normal, is there anything else that I should be concerned about? So Thrive reached out to me, oh gosh, two weeks ago and let me know that they were changing their name. They are now Ombre and that is the new name of the company and they are still a gut health test. So they so kindly sent me one of their new tests. I mean, it looks pretty similar to the Thrive other than the name change, nothing else has changed. So if you currently get your probiotics through Thrive, you'll continue to get those. They'll just come with the name Ombre on them instead of Thrive. So I know that Troy's probiotics are about to renew, so those will be shipped back out. So they went ahead and sent me one of their test kits. So when you order the test kit, this is basically what it looks like. It has a postage paid label that will send it back to the company. We're gonna open it like this and then here is all of the information on the gut health test. So up here it tells you how to activate your test, how to take your sample, how to send back your sample, and again it is postage paid. Your sample actually goes into this little vial here which then goes into the envelope which is sealed up and sent to Ombre. So I'm actually going to retake my gut health test today and get this sent off again just to see if anything needs to be changed in my probiotics, I can tell a huge difference. Troy can tell a huge difference. So there's a good possibility that maybe I need different probiotics or things need to be tweaked. So I'm really excited to take a, another gut health test and see exactly what may need to change in my personal probiotic. When Ombre let me know about the name change and then let me know that my probiotics were on the way, are also offering a discount for you guys. I've talked about this so many times on my channel. We love our gut health tests. We love our probiotics. With the link in the description box, you actually get $30 off of your gut health test, which makes it only $69, which is not bad at all. I did a little bit of research and normal gut health tests are between $100 and $300. So the fact that Ombre is only $69 is a fantastic deal. So I'll link it down below for you so that you can order your gut health test, figure out what needs to go in your personal probiotics. But like I said, this has been a total, total game changer for me and for Troy. So definitely check out Ombre in the description box. I thought I would take you guys around my house and show you my Thanksgiving fall decor. You guys really like seeing the little tidbits of my Halloween decor and what I eat in a day. So we have changed our house over to fall slash Halloween. So I'm gonna take you on a little home tour and at least show you what we did for fall and Thanksgiving. We're going to start outside. I have very minimal decorations. I have a little bit in my living room, my kitchen, a little bit outside and in my office. So let's go take a little home tour for Thanksgiving and fall.
you saw that I went ahead and made myself another coffee. Boy, you guys, uh, this afternoon, I have been tired. I mentioned that I have some health things kind of going on or some health things that I'm really trying to figure out. And fatigue is one of those things. And today, I have just been so tired. And in about 15 minutes, I have to get on a Zoom call with my challenge group. So I'm giving myself like a double dose of energy for the afternoon. So I did use my Javi pumpkin spice coffee concentrate. The regular Javi is really good, but the pumpkin spice is incredible. It has such good pumpkin spice flavor. It's a concentrate. So two teaspoons to do a big 32 ounce coffee. So it lasts forever. I'll link them down below with a discount for you. And then again, for more energy, I'm all about the energy. I'm having my Verb Pumpkin Spice Latte Bar. Three points, 90 calories, 65 milligrams of caffeine, about the same of what's in a shot of espresso. So I have caffeine in my Verb Bar. I have caffeine in my coffee. I have all the pumpkin spice vibes going on, which is perfect. I will also link Verb down below. Right now you can pick up a starter pack, which is 12 bars, flavor of your choice, for only $10. And then Verb actually throws in three or four other bar so you can try some of their other flavors. So I'm going to have my snack, sip on my coffee, get ready for my Zoom call. And then as soon as that's over, I am going to go ahead and get started on dinner. For dinner tonight, I'm making baked ziti. Now I think ziti generally has penne pasta. I'm going to use elbows because I'm out of my fiber gourmet penne pasta, but pasta is pasta in my opinion. So let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need one pound or 16 ounces of pasta. So I'm going to use two bags of the fiber gourmet light elbows. If you watch my channel, you already know how much we love Fiber Gourmet in this house. It is such great pasta. And not only does it taste good, the texture is really good. It's only 100 calories per two ounce serving versus 210. It contains 25 grams of fiber. It has 17 net carbs and 7 grams of protein. So it's just such a great pasta alternative. It is so good. I mean, the taste, the texture, everything is amazing on this pasta and you can save a lot of points and calories and still enjoy pasta. So I will link Fiber Gourmet down below. I buy it on Nutrition. They generally have all the four shapes that it comes in and they generally have it in stock. So highly recommend checking out Nutrition. Definitely, definitely get your hands on Fiber Gourmet. I'm going to be using the organic marinara sauce from Costco. I count this as zero points. I do not count points for marinara. That doesn't contain a lot of added oil. You can also make zero point marinara. One great recipe is the skinniest dish. I'll link that recipe in the description box for you guys. And then you'll need some low fat ricotta, 99% extra lean ground beef turkey, lots of fresh basil, mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, one egg, and then back here I have poultry seasoning and Italian seasoning. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring quite a large stock pot of water to a boil so we can add in our pasta. And then in a large skillet, I've added my pound of 99% extra lean ground turkey, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of poultry seasoning. We're going to allow that to cook down completely and allow our pasta to boil al dente. So my ground turkey is just about done. I'm just going to remove it from the heat. We're going to head over to the counter and put together the cheesy mixture of our dish. And then I have my noodles at a very, very slow boil. Again, I want these al dente. So fiber gourmet generally cooks a little bit faster. So it's just going to be a couple more minutes on the noodles. So for the cheesy goodness of our ziti, to a medium-sized bowl, I'm adding one cup of light mozzarella, half of a cup of Parmesan, 15 ounces or this whole container of low-fat ricotta cheese, some Italian seasoning, one egg, I went ahead and chopped up some basil. This is just a couple of tablespoons and then some salt and pepper. And then we're going to stir that together until fully combined. To the ricotta mixture, we're going to add in the ground turkey, the entire jar of marinara. I'm going to give that a quick stir before we add in the pasta. We're going to add in 
all of the pasta. Now the recipe said a medium bowl, but my medium bowl is not big enough, so I'm transferring to a large bowl. There we go, now we're talking. Mix that together. You wanna make sure it's combined fully. All those noodles are covered in that sauce and that cheese. We're going to transfer all of this goodness into a sprayed nine by 13 baking dish. This, you guys, looks really delicious. This baking dish is full to the brim of all of this, and this looks so delicious. Then we're sprinkling over half of a cup of Parmesan and the other cup of mozzarella. We're going to pop this into a 375 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until our cheese is golden brown and the pasta is nice and bubbly. I'm really excited. And it's out of the oven. You guys, can I just tell you how delicious this looks? Look at all that bubbly, pasta, cheesy goodness. I'm going to let this rest for just a couple of minutes. I have some frozen peas in the microwave. I'll plate my dinner up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is my dinner for tonight. The recipe makes 10 servings. So this is one tenth. It is six points and I'll put the calories here on the screen for you. And then of course I have some peas with some salt and pepper. I'm really excited for this. Who doesn't love a good pasta night? So here's my dessert for tonight. I'm going to have one of my Blake's birthday cake rice crispy treats. These are amazing. I got them on the Thrive Market. I'll link the Thrive down below with a discount and a free gift for you on your first order. That's the only place I've ever seen these. I picked up a couple different flavors and they are so good. Let me show you the size. So here's the size of them. They really truly are the perfect little rice crispy treat, but they have really good ingredients. Really, really like these. Thank you so much for joining me on today's What I Eat in a Day on the new WW Personal Points program. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good food that I ate throughout the day today. I will go ahead and link my recipe website down in the description box so that you can head over, make tonight's dinner recipe. It was so incredibly delicious. I'll also make sure that I link my two videos that I put out about personal points if you haven't seen those yet. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, nutrition coaching, my four recipe eBooks. Don't forget to head on over, join me on Facebook. That's the best way to keep up with me as well as over on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Wednesday, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.